Yeah. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to week three of the Junior Gold Series Detroit edition with Kyle and I. Wow! So we're here at Score Lanes, a 48 lane center. But originally used to be 30, 32. 32, and 32. they built on the bottom. Yeah, they 16. actually, the first 16 lanes were added, they renumbered them. Yeah, so we actually just got done bowling out here. We bowled on a 45 foot long pattern. Uh, and a unique thing about this center is that there's a lot of friction. It hooks a lot. The most friction I've seen. Really? So, seriously. I mean, we put, I was expecting our balls to be a little slicker, go farther down the lane, but we were kind of able. On, especially on this fresh pattern to open the lane up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And with being 45 feet, you generally have to play pretty close to the head then. And, yeah. Uh, straighter angles, sometimes farther, like sometimes deeper, but you could actually curve it here. Yeah. I was pretty surprised. And you know, um, things are gonna be, you, who knows what pattern they're gonna put out here. So right. be prepared for a lot of friction, especially if it's something shorter. Yeah, we don't know the, obviously, like you said, we don't know what pattern they're gonna put out but we can probably expect that pattern to break down faster. Now, Andrew, yeah. what balls would you suggest to kind of use on the longer pattern? Yeah, on the longer pattern, again, it does depend on the building. If in a higher friction building, you saw you and I throw some shinier yeah. stuff uh, early on. Yeah, we were throwing the Black Widow, Pink, uh, Statement the Pearl. Statement Pearl. Yeah. But there, there are plenty of hook. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe even too much at times. Yeah, so, but generally speaking, you're gonna always start with something on the stronger side something that's smoother, give you some predictability, and tell you where to play the lanes. Because yeah. if, if there is a lot of friction, something strong will tell you right away that it's gonna hook too yeah, much. Yeah, you ain't kidding. And then if they're tight and that ball's not slowing down, you know that you're gonna have to use one of those trusty old Avalon pads. Yeah. And, uh, get the 2,000 out. And <laughs> get the 2,000 out and, uh, you know, see what happens. talk about our tip of the day and it's gonna be about the mental game. Mental game is 95% of what we do. Yeah uh, for sure like I mean no matter what situation you're in you're always battling something mentally whether it's a lane yourself whatever it may be so we're gonna give you a couple tips for it. Kyle what's a tip you might have? Yeah I mean I don't think you can emphasize the mental game enough I mean that and spare shooting will honestly having a good mental game and being a solid spare shooter will make you make many cuts at junior yeah. goal throughout your career. And and for me, something that always helped me out improving my mental game was visualization and practice before I get there. Imagining the moment that I was gonna be in at junior goal, whether it's trying to throw a strike to make a cut or bowling in the cut or pretending I'm bowling in match play or just putting yourself in different situations in your head. That way when you get to those situations you've already been there. Yeah you seem like you're already been there and you're just more you're just more comfortable. My point is definitely gonna be brief. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Does it look like when you're up there, it's so hard to realize how important it is to stay relaxed. And whether you feel relaxed or not, it's yeah. hard to tell. Yeah. So, in some of the biggest situations, just remember to breathe, enjoy the moment, and I promise you, your shot making will become that much better. Absolutely. All right, so we've talked a lot about what the kids need to do, some tips, but there's going to be more adults here than kids. Oh, there's going to so be. So, Andrew, do you got any tips for, like, what, I mean, for adults, I mean, because it's a learning curve for them too. Yeah, I mean, you guys are gonna be having a jam-packed week. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but it can be stressful. You know, some things that you can do with your kids outside of the bowling alley when you have some free time. Check out Greenfield Village. Check out um, check out some of the golf courses if you guys like to golf. Henry Ford Museum. Henry Ford that's Museum. Cool. Oh, that's one of the coolest places yeah, yeah. around. The Detroit Zoo. Um, you know, I I know you're a big zoo. Fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Giovanni's <laughs> Restaurant. We're going there tonight, actually. So. So yeah, uh, plenty of places to check out. Please plan some time outside the bowling alley. You guys are going to be in there plenty. Uh, plan some other things to do. Go to the movies. Do what you can. Have a fun week. Yeah, I think it's important to make this an experience. You know, the bowling is really important, but have fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed week three of the Junior Gold Series Detroit Edition at Score Lanes. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Can't wait for next week. Hope you guys tune in. Hey, if you guys have any questions or comments for us, put them below. We'll take a look at them and see what, uh, what we can do better. And if you guys have any questions, answer them. See you guys later. See you.